After more than 30 years as the official voice of the NCAA basketball tournament, longtime commentator Billy Packer passed away on Thursday. He was 82. On Thursday night, Packer's two sons, Mark and Brandt, made the announcement on Twitter. In an interview with the Associated Press, Mark Packer said that his father had been hospitalized in Charlotte for three weeks due to a variety of health problems and that he had died of kidney failure, while also serving as an analyst for Atlantic Coast Conference games on Raycom. Billy Packer was the lead college basketball commentator for 34 consecutive Final Fours on NBC and CBS. In 1993, he won an Emmy for Outstanding Sports Personality, Studio, and Analyst. Anthony Packer, who coached basketball at Lehigh for 16 years, was his dad. After being named to the All-State team in Pennsylvania while still in high school, Packer went on to Wake Forest University, where he was twice honored as an All-ACC selection. Packer was selected to the All-Region team in 1962 after helping lead the Demon Deacons to their first Final Four appearance and three ACC regular season titles. Prior to his start as an announcer in 1972, Packer dabbled in coaching. To The Athletic, he revealed in 2019 that he never had any goal to be a broadcaster. However, Packer was soon calling games at the NCAA Tournament and Final Four, and he stayed in that role until 2008. Halfway through my career, I decided that I would no longer be in this line of work. I told myself that one of the greatest parts of writing about a game is learning as much as possible about it and its history through interviews with people whose opinions I value. As a result, if I didn't have fun doing it, I'd quit, he disclosed to The Athletic. At some point during your run, you may find yourself thinking, Oh, I've enjoyed my run, and now it's time to go back to the other things I enjoy. My last game broadcast was also the last game I attended. Memphis and Kansas played in that year's title game for the NCAA championship. Among Packers' most memorable Final Four calls is Simon Says, championship after Miles Simon led Arizona to the 1997 title. Later, in 1979, he was a part of the broadcast team alongside Dick Enberg and Al McGuire when Magic Johnson's Michigan State team beat Larry Bird's Indiana State team to win the national championship with a 24.1 Nielsen rating, equivalent to an estimated 35.1 million viewers. It remains the most watched basketball game in history. To quote Mark Packer to the AP, he really enjoyed doing the final fours, a perfectly timed move by him. Timing is everything in life. He loved the opportunity to take part in a show he was planning on watching anyway. When Magic Johnson and Larry Bird entered the scene, college basketball took off, and their success is largely credited as the impetus for the madness that is March Madness among college basketball fans. CBS Sports chairman Sean McManus said that Packer was synonymous with college basketball for more than three decades and set the standard of excellence as the voice of the NCAA men's basketball tournament. He had a huge effect on the development and popularity of the sport, McManus said in a statement. Billy being Billy, he gave his own unique spin on the game's analysis while keeping the focus squarely on the action on the field. He loved his family with the same intensity that he loved basketball. His legacy will live on at CBS Sports, in college basketball, and most importantly, in the hearts of his adoring wife, children, and grandchildren. We will all miss him very much. College basketball analyst Dick Vital was one of many who tweeted praise for Packer upon hearing of Billy Packer's passing. College basketball analyst Fran Frischula tweeted, We fell in love with college basketball because of you. Your words will always ring in my ears. In a statement, the North Carolina Tar Heels basketball team lauded Packer's constant presence as part of the rich history of the ACC and college basketball. The university boasted that he called many of our greatest moments, including Phil Ford's MVP and Michael Jordan's shot and seen May's heroics in Street Lewis. 
He also participated in the broadcast of three of UNC's NCAA championship games on national television. The Packer family, along with all of Mark's friends and broadcasting colleagues, have my deepest condolences. When Packer left his position as CBS main analyst in 2008 to be replaced by Clark Kellogg, the most influential figures in college sports were quick to express their gratitude to Packer for his contributions to the sport. His understanding of men's college basketball, his analysis of the game, and his love for the game's place in higher education has ensured a legacy that anyone can envy, said the late NC double, a president Miles Brand. I want to thank him for the enormous contributions he has made to the NC double, A's final four tournament, and many, many other occasions over the course of several years. He is a friend of intercollegiate athletics. The only way to describe Billy, according to former Big East commissioner Mike Trangis in 2008, is as a giant. His enthusiasm for the game and the way he discussed it in his broadcasts is, in my opinion, unparalleled. This leaves a tremendous hole in our lives. Those of us who love college basketball are going to miss him terribly. In addition to his work in broadcasting, Packer was also involved in a variety of business ventures and real estate transactions. Since I played my last basketball game in college, I've had no interest in competing in sports, he said to the Tampa Bay Times in 1999. And yet, I relish the difficulty of business negotiations. In my opinion, it most closely resembles sports. This is a game for mature audiences, facts for watching our channel.